ni Pandula studied civil engineering and project management at the Namibia University of Science and Technology and is also a self-taught visual artist with his own studio located on the outskirts of Venduk. It's self-taught. I just started drawing um, when I was really young. I think I was about nine years old when I started. And yeah, I've been drawing ever since and I've been doing this full time for almost five years now. It wasn't really a passion. Um, I used to just uh, sketch in class. It was more of a hobby. Um, I never thought it would be a career. I was just sketching class and I never sold anything until about 2016. I started putting the work up on social media and people started asking to buy. So that's when it started. Everything basically, a lot of experimenting, a lot of um, commissioned works, uh, paintings, uh, portraits, you know, just uh, general artwork, you know. Dago Feather admitted that he is lucky as he receives vast support from his peers, further adding that COVID-19 has had a mixed impact on his business. Um, I think it's just getting recognized, people recognizing the, the importance of art in society. I think I'm very lucky because the people around me support me, my friends, my family, everyone, you know, so um, I always have people to lean on, a lot of people. And yeah, I don't really struggle in that regard, so I'm lucky. I'm not really sure if it's negative or positive. The negative part of it is that, um, of course, people have less money. They're, then they're less inclined to spend on things that are seen as luxuries, like art. It's not, it's not something essential. But also, with people being at home, um, I've seen that my audience has, has grown faster during COVID. Because I, I guess people are more on their phones and stuff. So it has its negatives and its positives. Nipandula will be showcasing his artwork at an exhibition which is set to take place on the 28th of January at the National Arts Gallery of Namibia.